Hi everyone, my name's Karenza. I'm a third year fashion communication promotion student at NUA and I am bringing you a series of tips and tricks and sharing some of my words of wisdom from being a student myself and just helping you through student life, becoming a new student and just all things university basically. So this is episode one of the series and today the video will be based on things that you do need to bring to uni, things that you don't need and things that you can buy when you arrive. Just to help people who are packing and a little bit confused on don't know what to bring, this video is for you. I think in first year a lot of people do end up living in halls which is completely normal as it's a new area, you don't really know anyone in Norwich and it's just a lot easier. So my first tip would be if you are living in one of the, com the accommodations in Norwich, there are three main ones from NUA and they are All Saints Green, Beechcroft and Duke Street Riverside. So once you know what accommodation you're living in, try and find out who your flatmates are. You can do this by going onto the NUA Freshers page and then um, I think you get added into like a separate group chat for your accommodation and then it's really easy to find out who your flatmates are, who your neighbours are and this is so handy because when buying things for the kitchen or just like household items you know what to bring and what other people are going to bring. So I think especially for kitchen appliances, it's really easy to say like, if you're bringing a toaster, I can bring a kettle or a set of frying pans, knives, things like that. Or equally, it can be like, you decide what you're going to buy and then when you arrive, buy it all together. But I think that would be my first tip is find out who you're living with once you know what accommodation you're in, because it will just make your life a lot easier. My second tip would be, if there's anything that you're not sure about, definitely email your accommodation a couple of weeks ahead and just ask what they provide or ask, you know, if you're going to need this. There was a couple of things that I ended up not needing that I brought with me and if I'd emailed ahead of time, then I could have resolved this issue. Like plug sockets, I ended up bringing an extension lead and I really didn't need to because in my accommodation I had several under the desk, some along the floor, some in the bathroom. So that was just one example and I think another was a bedside um, light. I ended up having a desk light and then another one built into the wall above my bed so I didn't need that in the end. And then another thing I was considering bringing was a chair from home that would have looked lovely in my room but in reality just would not have fit one bit. So I'm glad I didn't bring that but they're the sort of things that you need to check. So moving on to things that you're going to bring with you and need to pack when you come to uni, there are a couple of obvious ones like your laptop, iPad, tablet or whatever devices you may have. You need to bring those along with the chargers because there's no point having one and not the other. Other things like your clothes, that's so important. But one thing I would say about this is don't bring your entire wardrobe. Just bring clothes for that season and then you can sort of switch them out when you need it or you're going to end up with a wardrobe full of coats at the start of September and you really don't need that and you're just going to run out of storage so quickly. Other things like bedding, I feel like these are really important ones to bring with you just so that you can get that set up and that's one less thing to worry about on the day. So you'll need a duvet, several pillows and then some um, sheets for it. I'd also suggest a mattress protector as well because I feel like this is really good to ensure that you don't cause any damage to the actual mattress itself and it also makes your bed a little bit comfier as well. A few other things that I feel like are really important to bring with you are some things that make you feel cosy and comfortable and things that remind you of home, like your teddies if you have them. I've got mine there, I don't know if you can see that on the corner, but that always makes me feel a bit more comforted. I think photos of friends and family, just to pop them around your room and make you feel like you're not so alone or that you're a million miles away from everyone. So any things like that that just make you feel like you're bringing a bit of home with you, I think are really good additions to bring. In regards of things to bring with you, I think they're probably the main ones that come to mind when I think of things that I first brought and the essential things. I also think packing light is quite a good thing as well. You want to bring loads of things that you don't need or loads of things that you can buy when you're there. I think this is really essential because a lot of people will be travelling from quite far away and if you need to make sure that you're fitting everything in one vehicle, then you can just save other things to buy for when you get there. Or alternatively, if you're an international student and you're flying over or the ferry or whatever, it's just a lot easier to bring the bare minimum with you and just all the things you're actually going to need and then other household things you can buy when you arrive. Moving on to things that you can buy once you arrive at uni, this list is a little bit longer because you have all the kitchen things and household things to think about. So starting with kitchen things, I think the most important things you're going to need are cutlery, crockery, one saucepan, one frying pan, and then find out what other things that your flatmates have. So whether that's a kettle, toaster, um, any other appliances that you may need, maybe a toasty maker, who knows, but find out what they're bringing or what they're gonna buy. And then that just saves you one less thing that you have to buy once you arrive. 
um, tea towels, oven gloves, cleaning things for the kitchen, um, laundry things, because you're going to need to do all your laundry there as well. So there's a lot of things to think about in the sense of kitchen and household goods. Other things that are going to be really handy is a laundry basket. So whether that's a washing basket of things that you put your wet laundry into or just a laundry basket that you keep in your room. One that has handles is really good so you can take it from your room down to the laundry room as there's usually a couple floors in between that. Um, a clothes airer. I think one that props up is really handy. You can also get the ones that hook over the radiators if you don't have that much room um, or ones that you have the pegs on so you can use them for other smaller bits. Along the same lines are hangers as well. I think that's really good if you've got shirts that you just want to hang up when they're a little bit damp because that saves you from ironing and you're going to need it for all your clothes anyway. Um, speaking of clothes, I think extra storage is something that you may need. I did find this in my second year that I needed a set of lightweight drawers just to put some extra clothes in and other little bits. But you can get these from loads of places or you can get the ones where you stick the poles in and then it's like material, but they're super lightweight so they're really easy to bring back to your accommodation. But things like that are things that you can buy once you get to uni. And I think you won't need to buy it until you get there because you don't know exactly what you're gonna need for your room. That's along the same lines as other um, sort of decorating bits for your room. Like you'll probably want some fairy lights or photo frames or just whatever your vibe is. But I think it's a lot easier once you get to uni, see the room, see the space that you've got, and then you can think about buying other things to fill it up. Another little thing I would suggest is buying all your toiletries when you arrive in Norwich as well. Like all your shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, toothpaste, anything like that. Wait until you arrive as there's loads of shops you can get that from or even just supermarkets as well. It's just another thing that you don't have to worry about packing as they can be quite awkward and heavy to pack as well. And they're super easy to find. So that's another thing that I'd say, wait until you arrive and then you can buy those as well. We do have loads of homeware stores in Norwich City Centre. So if you're worrying about where you're gonna get these things from, honestly, do not. So we have a Wilco, B&M, Next, Sainsbury's Home is also really good as well. Um, Matalan, a H&M home as well, if you want some more things that are a little bit bougie out there to decorate your room mostly. And then loads of other shops on the market and on the lanes. If you want little decor bits like that, they're really cute and have unique pieces. Maybe student prices, not so much, but just for little things like that, they're really good. But there's so many sort of mainstream shops that you can go to to get all the essentials that I've said that you can buy when you arrive here. So do not panic. That's just another weight off your shoulders if you know a couple of stores that you can go to to get these things from. So if you have any queries for your accommodation about the facilities or items that they'll provide you with, then please send them an email. I'll leave the contact details in the description below so that you can just get in contact with them and clear up any worries that you have. So I really hope that this video has been helpful for you and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!